Good. Step forward. Back line, step back. When you're doing your kata, you should do it at one, one height. Okay? See how I do that? So make sure when you do your kata, here, keep the legs, bend, here, same level. Okay, so wherever you are right here, just think that you're in a ceiling that's kind of right here. You can't go up any further. Got it? Wow. Well, I am done. I am done. This would be a good one for you to learn for Oliver. Yoy. Again, overdo the stance. We're just warming up. Nice and deep. Itch. Knee. Some. She. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hatch cool. Itch. Me. Some. She. Go. Nice and slow. Hi. Good. Up. Nice and slow. If people here don't know the kata, so just do them slow. Hi. Hi, on the Yoy. Focus on full sets, okay? Two things I'm noticing. On the shuto blocks, your, your elbow's out, okay? Have this arm, elbow in close to the body. Get some potential. Quick set, leave it here, boom, and snap it out, all right? Uh, hikate, strong hikate. Pull your hikate back as fast as you can when you get that going. So, nice, strong blocks, full extension, don't, don't, Halfway. This is for kumite or when you're trying to act fast. Cut to full extension. Hayang san nan! Hayang san nan! Do it. Ich. Ni. Son. Shi. Go. Rok. Sitch. Hatch. Perfect stance. Toes forward. Each. Knee. Some. She. Foster Jew, back straight. She. Good, step forward. Good, legs should feel like a little bit of a burn. Deeper in the stance now. Wow. High on five. High on go down. High on go down. Do it. Even if we're doing it slow, keep the spirit up. Okay, keep the intention up. 
each ni sam shi go rock sich hatch ku ju ich hai ich ni sam shi go rock sich hatch so ich ni sai hai now good so forward keep the intensity up keep the intensity up hey hey take your shot up take your shot up ich ni so she go rock sich ni hai ni bom she go go ich ni so she go rock sich ni so she go rock sa And that's how I die to finish. I bow. Us. By side. Aye! That's how I die! Do it. Itch. Knee. So. She. Go. Rock. Itch. Good. Up your back leg. Up your back leg, Lily. Front stance. Okay, so when you're doing these cuts of slow, focus, make sure, number one, your feet are in the right place. Number two, full body action. Full rotation. Full set. And you say, make sure the hand comes all the way underneath. Make sure the hand comes all the way up and back. Make sure the shoot though. Set. So just focus. Do the cuts of slow. That's where you learn. You don't learn by doing the cuts of fast. Do it slow. Each. Ni Sam Shi Go Rock Sich Hatch Ku Ju Ich Ni Sam she go rock sich hatch do each hey so each me from Go. Don't lean too far ahead. Somebody could be pulling on your arms here. You're anchored to the ground. Each. Me. So stay down. She. Go. Right. Bow and relax. So you got them all, Laura? Yeah, I totally have it all. Okay, all right, you got them all? So great, remember. The other 19, come on. Ready? So, but if we do this, if we do this every every time you come to class as a warm up, you, you will know all the topics. That was fun, I liked it. Yeah. And when you're, if you're looking for a, a workout that's going to 
not just get on a bike and mindlessly do something kind of monotonous. Get on YouTube and go through all the Hayan Katas. That way this is turned on as well as the workout. I can't stand your workouts where I'm just kind of... All right, use your brain, exercise your brain just like you would your body. And the cottons are a good way to, uh, to do that. Good, uh, everybody in the back line. Right position. Like keyhole. Break down. Like hey! 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 I can sit forward, punch you. Just softly, slowly. Just again, working on our stance here, working on our tempo and our timing. Ready? Each. Knee. Stomach. She. Go. Rock. Good. I'm gonna take. So, when you're stepping in, I don't want any kyo, even when you do this slow, mental kyo, physical kyo, okay? So when you're stepping in, there's never a time when you think that somebody can get you. Got it? You gotta be pushing this hand forward and just replace. Push forward and just replace. Push, pull, push, pull, grab, replace. Everybody got it? Ready, slowly. Each. Knee. Some. A little smoother. Feel a little smoother. She. Go. Rook. Seach. I'm up there. Turn. Ready. Same thing. Each. Knee. Some. She. Go. Look. Hey! I'm gonna take. Hey! Good. Sean, Rodney, Drew. Okay? He's, a, a lot of times here, I'm looking at your your back foot here. Okay? Your, your, if your knee is kind of in, all right, this, you can see space here. I, I want you to make sure that knee position is over the foot. You want to make sure that that foot is nice and firm and planted. Especially when you do this slow. Okay? A lot of times if you overextend, you get this happening. Okay? And then you get this part of your foot all blistered. And if, you're, if you're doing this, you're dragging your foot. Make sure here, foot is firm on the ground. Pick it up. Move it. Okay? The position of your knee is critical. You've got to make sure your knee position is not dragging here. Or not over the foot. Again, each. Knee. Some. She. Go. Rook. Hey! Good. I'm gonna take. Hey. Good. Some bums if you know. Triple punch. Same thing. Don't don't think about so much about speed. Just think about the body and the rhythm. Let's go. Ready. Each. Knee. Some. She. Go. I'm okay. When you start to speed some bonzuki up, you take away power. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? Trying to say? Watch. Everybody, that, that's an arm punch, it's not a body punch. Okay? The last one was, I'm rotating my body. It's slower because your body, that's why your weight is. If you just use your arms, okay, you gotta hit Rodney or one of these big guys, you just gotta bounce off them. You gotta think about full body action. That's why I'm trying to get you to do it slow because somewhere between slow and fast, that's the right speed. Does that make sense? Hey. It took a long while for me to figure that out. Okay, somewhere between slow and fast, that's where your actual punching speed should be. Because you're wanting to knock out power. You want you need to rotate the body. The arms, if you just let them go, this is fast. Your power comes from here. But you have to rotate. So slow it down. Again, some bumps of each. 
D. So, she. Elbows and knees. Just throw the elbows and knees forward. 
Walk through it. Talk through it. Slow and easy. Walk through it. Talk through it. Slow and easy. Walk through it a couple times and the other side does it. The other guy does it.
comes in. This is this is good distance here now. I think without too much here, I need to be in a little bit more. This is this is my technique. So if you're out here, a lot of you guys are on this side here, and you're trying to punch. All right, he's going to take you down. You got to be controlling the center like so. Then the next technique comes. Boom! I'm right here, up and under. Got it? Here, I can pull the key, whatever you want to do. But the, the, the whole, everything falls apart if your stance is not right. So when you're moving back and forth, just make, make sure when you're doing this, here, now I'm right. Hi. Striking. And now I can control. I got a nice back stance going. This is kind of as, as close to the cup as I can be. Everybody understand? And then you can do it, you can speed it up a little bit. And you, you're done. Got it? Hi. Okay. Back, let's go. Keep going, make sure you have the right stance.
Back and forth, back and forth. Let's go. Keep on two. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. Yeah. 
This is just, this is just standard here. It doesn't have the, you don't have to pull them all the way back here. When it gets to bunkai, bunkai is application. Everybody got it? Hi, should go left. Hey! Sensity! Hey! 
express Stephanie, right? Express class. So, especially when we're, uh, we're introducing Bunkai for the younger belts, we need to have a couple standards. Okay, so if we just go let them and kind of, what do you do, you know, good luck with that. That's, that's why there's a standard when, when you begin. It's like the A, B, C, you know. You don't say, well, use all those and craft a poem that, you know what I mean? <laughs> just basically have a standard that they can kind of like their times tables. So we just show them basic. Yes, there's different moves. Yes, there's, come here. We, we used to do this technique where he punches, he punches again, and this was a, a big break to the back here, all right? But there's, there's ones that you can throw. I'd like to recommend that as a, a Shotokan guy, there's a lot of application stuff out there, but not all of it is Shotokan. Mm -hmm. And other styles have different thoughts about how to do things. Yeah. But there's a French guy called Didier Lupo, LPPO, okay. who uh, is Shotokan. And he, he does very nice, he, he builds on things nicely. So okay. he'll be like, you know, here's one, and they'll do the first step like three or four times, and then they'll do the second step three or okay. four times, and so the third step, so you, you can. Uh, how to learn. Okay, Lupo. Yeah. Lupo. What about Giverline? Giverline oh, yeah. does some basic stuff. Yeah. So it, definitely for the for the older groups, yeah, and, and the more right. senior. But for the juniors to have that to have like an eight year old get up there and do a bunkai, we have to do very strong, similar to the technique and in, in, in the kata, and just keep it baseline. Okay. To be honest, I don't care what the baseline. We have an easier baseline to, you know, there's a lot of different ways. Let's kind of agree on it and just, you know, but we have to have a standard. I don't know what the easiest one is. I'm just kind of putting this together now because we're doing bunkai. Yeah, doing bunkai at junior levels. Okay, good job. Thanks, guys. Thank you. I actually work some Mondays, but I don't have a call. My parents don't get home until like 7 o'clock.